What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sound of Attack once again, and I am always getting the question, what are you doing with the Ethereum that you are mining? Are you mining and holding? Are you cashing out? So on and so forth. Today, I'm going to cover one of the things that I do with the Ethereum that I mine, and that is adding liquidity to Uniswap. I'm going to show you what tokens I have added to and what is making the most money in fees. We've done over $500 in fees alone in three and a half months, which is pretty good with an initial investment of $2,000 on this particular account, $2,215 about actually to be exact, but we'll go into it and then I'll show you how much that it's made by increasing in price as well. And then we'll discuss some of the advantages to using something like Uniswap versus something like BlockFi or Crypto.com. But before we do, if you guys want access to a privately hosted chat without scammers, spammers, or bots and a great community of cryptocurrency enthusiasts click the join button down below and you will gain access through the membership tab to a secret registration URL that will let you register for the chat you can cancel the membership at any time afterwards no problem once created and registered we aren't taking away any registrations we're over 260 members strong and a huge shout out and thanks to all of you that have already signed up so without further ado let's pop into it so first of all I want to say sorry for any of the additional little noises we are on like a little fold out table and we are using a laptop whose fans sound like a tornado and that's the way it's going to be so hopefully at least it's listenable to but let's get into it so as you can see back in october we added our first 371 dollars which at the time was like a single eth by the way and we started to get to work on adding liquidity. We then went ahead and added more. Uh, on October 22nd, we added another ETH, and then we added another ETH on November 6th, and then finally we added one more ETH on November 11th. Then from there, we've just been kind of riding it out. So our initial investment was about $2,215, as you can see. And just in holding in the price, of all these tokens and so on, the worth has gone up to $5,573. Now up here you can see that we earned $515.76, and that's kind of since October, but not really. We didn't really start earning any good fees until probably November or so. All right, so these are kind of the big hills that you noticed where cryptocurrency was going up in price a lot. So we've been pretty steadily going up. But what I'm going to show you guys are some of the pairings that I have. Once again, I will mention this isn't financial advice. This is just showing you guys what I've done. And then you can kind of decide on what you want to do on your own outside of that. So the best token that we have paired with is Katon, surprisingly. I thought this was going to be pretty risky. But it turns out that everybody else likes Katon as well. Because we have earned $255.18 in fees. And basically what this is telling you is that this is a highly swappable pairing. Meaning a lot of people are swapping between Katon and Ethereum. W... ETH stands for wrapped Ethereum, so that's kind of how that works. WBTC stands for wrapped Bitcoin, so on and so forth. But the this token by far has done the best. Like I said, we've earned the most fees off of it as well. Now, these say in second place, but that is total value. Really what comes in second is for fees is liquid and wrapped ethereum now liquid's a very interesting project because it is structured in a way that encourages you to hold your coins and what that means is that if you can add liquidity to liquid which is funny but if you can add liquidity to liquid you are a little bit safer than adding it to maybe something like Katon because whenever you add liquidity they burn some of it whenever you pull out of liquidity they burn some of it they also burn some of it when you just purchase or swap it's kind of an interesting way that they handle it I'm not typically uh, a fan of burning but the way that they're doing it, and I believe it's 5%, by the way, it's pretty high. They burn a lot of it. The way they, the way they do that, though, means that essentially people are encouraged to hold it and not swap it in and out a lot. And because people are holding it, it kind of manipulates the supply in a form that makes sure that it goes in the up direction. And it's an interesting project. 
like I said, I don't know how I feel about it completely, but it's working, right? To me, it kind of feels a little, it could be a little scammy, but I think uh, some of these are and some of them aren't. And I mean, it's just the way it is, right? But it is making the second most in fees. Now, making the third most in fees is probably what I would say is the safest, best bet for me and what I would want to add more liquidity to, which is DAI and wrapped Ethereum. Now, DAI is a stable coin, and because it's a stable coin, it's tied to the US dollar. And then if you pair that with Ethereum, essentially all that's happening is that people are trading into DAI to keep whatever profits that they've made off of Ethereum safe from Ethereum being volatile. And so this would be one of the biggest pairings. There's also some other stable coins that you, or stable tokens, I guess I should say, that you could add liquidity to, a USDC like uh, Tether and so on and so forth. Any of those are going to be what I would lean towards being the safest and probably the best for like long, long term, uh, but they aren't going to be like the highest fee earners, right? Because they don't have that huge kind of up and downs the volatility anytime something's volatile you have a bigger earning potential right especially if you're doing something like adding liquidity and enabling people to essentially trade on the platform or trade that so if you're enabling people to easily trade of course highly volatile assets and you're getting fees off of that because of the nature of it being highly volatile you're going to get more fees. So that's kind of how that works, at least from my understanding or very limited understanding. I don't typically trade a lot, but doing stuff like this where I can add it and earn the fees is kind of what I like to do. Now, the fourth place is going to be Bitcoin and Ethereum. Obviously, this is going to be a huge pairing. It's going to be a super stable pairing. It's only earned us $67.59 in fees. However, once again, this is a stable one. So like the stable coin or whatever, Bitcoin and Ethereum are the top two cryptos currently out. So if you want to be into something that is, you know, proven and more than likely going to succeed over the long term and you don't want to be worried about highly volatile tokens, then this is a great pairing as well. All this means is when people are utilizing whatever liquidity you've added, they're just swapping between Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin and Ethereum. And you've put it up so that they can do that. Finally, we have Lick X, which is like Liquid X. And this is kind of an example of something you should avoid. And I'd want to show you guys that I do make mistakes like this as well, where I did purchase Liquid X because I saw the liquid and then I was like, well, we'll try it. And uh, we've lost uh, probably, I mean, we've probably lost about $300 on this one. And the fees are down. You know, we only made $3.16 in like three months. So it's definitely not worth having. And I'm pretty sure all those fees were everybody getting out of it <laughs> so, you know sometimes you win sometimes you lose so those are the five positions that i hold in uniswap currently that i wanted to share with you guys and kind of go over it with you obviously you kind of get a twofold here not only are you earning the fees but you also are encouraged when you have liquidity added to hold and so your hands are going to get stronger because obviously like if you want to swap out you're going to pay a ton of fees and so you don't really want to do that you're encouraged to earn the fees back at least before you swap out and hopefully earn enough fees to also swap out right so for you to actually make money you have to have like diamond hands and it's been three and a half months though and we've done like 520 dollars or whatever in just fees and then if you take into account the long hold pattern we have increased our value of two thousand two hundred and fifteen dollars over twofold so we doubled our money essentially between the fees and everything else just the rise in in the price of the coins right we've doubled our money in three and a half months which is cool and uh, if you guys are interested in learning more or how to do it, check the pinned comment. Of course, like I said, we're still kind of displaced. Um, we now have no water here. I'm not sure exactly what's going to go on with power. I'm going to be trying to get whatever content out that I can get out to you guys whenever I can. And if you guys have any more questions or additional questions, right, hit me up on Twitter at Son of Attack. 
I also don't have all my assets. We have a cheap microphone. I did snag the good camera though. And we are on, like I said, a, a loud laptop that makes it sound like we're in the middle of a tornado while recording. So maybe I'll figure that out too. I'll see you next Tuesday.